Let us start our learning by doing a lab activity to see what will happen to weight of reactants and products during a reaction. Click each tab to know more. The aim of this activity is to understand the change in mass before and after a chemical reaction or chemical change. The materials used in this lab activity are retort stand, test tube, conical flask, spring balance, rubber cork, thread, barium chloride, sodium sulfate, distilled water. Take a conical flask. Pour some distilled water in it. Add 2 grams of barium chloride to the distilled water. Now take a test tube. Pour some of distilled water in it. Now add 2 grams of sodium sulfate to the test tube. Hang the test tube into the flask carefully with the help of a thread without mixing the solutions. Close the flask with a rubber cork. Now place a retort stand on table. Take a spring balance and tie it to the retort stand. Weigh the flask with its contents and observe the weight. Now tilt and swirl the flask so that the solutions in the flask and the test tube get mixed. Once again observe the weights. We have observed that the formation of white precipitate in the conical flask which indicates the chemical reaction took place in it. Also, we have observed the weight of the flask and contents before mixing the solutions is equal to the weight of flask and contents after mixing the solutions. Finally, we learned that there is no change in mass before and after the chemical reaction when a chemical reaction takes place. Therefore, the total mass of the products formed in a chemical reaction is exactly equal to the mass of the reactants. This is known as the law of conservation of mass.